Fighting is a complex dance of skill, strategy, power and endurance. But if endurance goes, everything else falls apart. Consistent training is crucial to improve your conditioning, but without regular fitness testing, you're never getting blind. Testing your fitness gives you a clear roadmap allowing for data-driven adjustments to your training. In this video, I will reveal a short and simple fitness testing protocol tailored to the unique energy system demands of fighting. During a fight, you rely on all three of the body's energy systems, so let's explore an easy way to test them all in just 15 minutes. The alectic energy system provides the dynamite behind a knockout punch or an explosive test down. Perform a 10 second sprint on a cardio machine like the assault bike, ski erg or rowing machine. During your effort, track your peak power, the maximum amount of explosive force created. If your cardio machine doesn't display power metrics, you can track your maximum speed instead. After a one minute rest, get into your second effort. This test measures your ability to sustain fast paced or high intensity work like striking combinations, chain wrestling, scrambling, clinching or wall work before your breathing becomes labored, your muscles fatigue and your movements slow down. Go all out on the cardio machine for 90 seconds, tracking your maximum distance. This tests your lactic energy system. The more meters you cover, the better your lactic and ventilatory thresholds. Once you surpass these thresholds, your ability to produce high power outputs and maintain a fast pace diminishes quickly. After your 90 second effort, immediately measure your maximum heart rate. Remeasure your heart rate after 60 and 120 seconds of rest to track your heart rate recovery. Rest for three minutes overall before you start your third test. The aerobic energy system fuels efforts of more than 90 seconds. It will allow you to sustain slower paced, low intensity activities. It's also responsible for the energy system recovery, ensuring energy production and lactate clearance to get you ready for your next high intensity bout. The aerobic energy system also plays a major role in lowering your heart rate during the fight and in between rounds. Cover as much distance as possible on the cardio machine in 10 minutes. Aim to maintain a consistent pace. The more meters you cover, the better your aerobic capacity. It's important to understand that none of these energy systems work in isolation, so it's crucial for fighters to be fit across the board. Repeat this protocol at least once a month, ideally in a fresh, fueled and recovered state, for example, after a rest day. Also try to use the same machine each time for consistent measurements. So rest up, fuel up and test yourself. If you're after a simple hit protocol that is based on real world data from the UFC Performance Institute, watch this video here next. Drop a like if this video was helpful and let me know in the comments below what other fitness tests do you perform. As always, train hard, recover smart and fight easy.